90. Kobian, who just got 190, Thanks, waving no at 129.54. Steiner at Well, he's on fire at the moment. Yeah, you know, sometimes I would say, you know, contain it a little bit. But, you know, Matthias is a special lifter. He lit up, you know, the lifting world lit up Germany with his Olympic gold medal performance in Beijing. He hasn't lifted much. And, well, actually, this whole period of time since then, coming back for the latest surgery on his knee, he wants to celebrate. He's got to convince himself and other people he's got a serious chance. So the bar has now gone to 191 kilos. So this is Andre Kozlov looking for the lead at the second attempt. behind what happens what causes that lifter tends to hit the bar with his hips right there and it sends it in an arc right behind me you think well why doesn't he get brained with the bar it just barely grazes him fortunately there's usually enough clearance the lifter doesn't get slipped he pushes his body away from the bar there one rush into another and this is al bagov now he's looking for a sequence here of three out of three now this is short of the 195 that he lifted in the President's Cup, but I think conscious of just keeping pace with the action out there. And this would not be too bad. It's a three kilo increase for the 24 year old. And that should be fine. And gives him three out of three. And as a result of that goes into the lead, 191. And still out there with lifts, uh, Tumanidze, Georgia with two to come. Hakobian of Armenia with one. Peter Naj, who's been biding his time from Hungary in the wings. And uh, this is Kozlov, also, of course, Steiner with one attempt to come. And he's put the bar up to 195 at the moment. Kozlov focusing on 191, the weight that he just missed within the last two minutes. Took a lot of time thinking about that lift. He no. stood over the bar, was visualizing it. But it, it didn't work. I mean, didn't you think he was over the bar? Long time later? I did. It was almost a repeat. And unfortunately, that leaves him with ground to make up now. Clip that right shoulder. You can see it a little bit as he was losing that lift. No, nothing serious there. Just grazed it. Now, Georgia have come here not with the biggest squad, but they've all performed with some distinction, I think, the Georgians. Well, I mean, they, they have a history, you know, that's something to be proud of as far as weightlifting goes, small but very effective. Four kilo increase. This for the lead, 192. That's a pretty nice lift. I mean, he's still making these things look light. 190 yeah. anything's not bad. 
Well, it's pretty good. He's got one more attempt. And the other thing is, he's now four kilos up on where he was in Europe. Compare this to where he was in Paris. He was on 180, and he's now 12 kilos up on Paris. So clearly, the preparation much, much better for this competition. And the bar going to 192 for Peter Nash. Now, this is an eight kilo increase. And he's in seventh place at the moment. So this would zoom him up into the silver medal position. But even after he's lifted, if he gets it, there are still, what, one, two, three more lifts to come. So 192. He did this in the World Championships in Paris. He did this in the University Championships last season, which he won. I think that's a pretty big lift for him. He's pretty happy. He's been relaxed up to that point, celebrated that, jumped off the last couple of steps to celebrate. He's pleased with that. Yes, yeah, just a pity from his point of view that the first one got away, the, the 184, because he would have gone surely for a, a personal record on that basis. But the situation at the moment is that uh, Tumanidze on 192 kilos leads the way at the moment by lighter body weight and graded at 151 kilos. Peter Naj, who you just saw, 153. Not much between those two. Third at the moment is Albagov, who had that three good lift sequence on 191. Steiner biding his time. He's put the bar to 195. And here we go, 195, three attempts to go. Armenia are alive, Georgia are alive and so are Germany. So I think it's fair to say here, Randy, that nobody's going to run away with this first half. No, some guys are lifting at pretty much their maximum. So, Hakobian. Hake, Hakobian. This for three out of three, and this for the lead, to move him up from fourth into the medals. And that's a really nice sequence. 21 years of age. We haven't seen too much from the Armenians here. And probably this is as good as we have seen. Yeah, he sticks this thing. I mean, Armenia's got a tradition of snatching. Well, wow, it's that thing. So whatever happens with just two attempts, he's definitely got a medal in the snatch. The only question is what color. There are only two men who can push him out of gold. One is Tumanidze. And Hakobian, just for the record, he weighed in at 129 kilos. Uh, Tumanidze, who I think is going to come in next, he is 125. And the heaviest of the three is Steiner, which will push him to 196. Which is what he did, yeah. He up to that region. So Tumanidze now. Who has been pretty solid. Now, can he finish off and have three out of three? Nine competitors, a maximum of 27 lifts, and so far only five failures. Good stats. Let's hope this continues. Oh, and he fixes it really well. Well, this is this is high quality weightlifting here. Well, you know, it's really enjoyable, David. And it's infectious in a positive way. We enjoy it, fans enjoy it, and the lifters enjoy it. It's success, and the lifts are going quickly. And these are these are decent weights. Yeah. So now coming out, this is Matthias Steiner in his comeback competition. The build-up for the London Olympic Games just over 100 days away coming for 196 and this lift is to give him a one kilo advantage going into the second half and the gold medal in the snatch so that's the reward that's available but three out of three is really what is more about at this stage 196 for the olympic champion now 29 years of age Oh, 
asked but not answered. And the downside of that, of course, Randy, is the fact that that drops him back to 190, and he now finds himself five kilos off the half-time leaders. Yeah, you know, another thing on that lift is, you know, 2008, you got to remember, this man made basically a mad dash out of nowhere all the way up to the Olympic gold medal, okay? One of the points that he crossed along the way was a successful performance at the European Championships. And he snatched 200 kilos there. So this is a big, big step behind where he was relatively getting ready for the Olympics. Well, that is the...